Hi, I'm Alex Wilkes with Denison Yacht Sales. I'm standing here in Palm Beach, Florida in front of our 41 American Tug listing, and today I'm going to show you how to properly tie your boat to the dock. First thing I'm going to point out here standing at the American Tug is you have a few different types of dock lines. So we're standing here at the stern of the boat. You'll notice you have two different lines coming off of the stern. Those would be called your stern lines. So here at a floating dock, we have both lines crossed. And what these lines are going to do is hold your stern from moving side to side. Standing here on the starboard side of the American Tug, and you'll notice we have two lines coming off the starboard side of the boat. These are what are called your spring lines. So the spring lines, the purpose of those is to keep your boat from either moving aft or forward while at the dock. We're standing up here on the bow of the American Tug, and the last two lines I'm going to point out to you are your bow lines. So we have one coming off the port side and both the starboard side. And like the stern, the purpose of these are to keep the bow from moving port to starboard. So now we're back off the boat and on the dock, and I'm going to show you how to tie your line to the cleat. So you'll notice we went around the forward portion of the cleat here, creating tension in the line. Then to finish it off, I'm going to go all the way around, up and over here, and then back up to the forward part of the cleat. And what I'm going to do here is create a loop. This is going to be your lock. Slide this on here, pull it tight, and you're good to go. Let's take a look at that one more time. So again, we were going around the forward part of the cleat, creating tension in this portion of the line. We're going to wrap it around one time. We're going to go up and under. And then going back to the forward portion of the cleat, we're going to create our loop here with a twist. Again, this is your lock. Pull it tight. Good to go. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or if you'd like to see more how-to videos, please leave your comments and suggestions below.